Recently, an Indian origin British historian and author Bobby Singh Bansal claimed that 90% of the Sikh heritage sites are located in Pakistan, mostly in the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province. Underlining their potential to attract the Sikh community from across the globe, Bansal enlisted a few places that are gold mines for attracting Sikh tourists. With the recent inauguration of the Kartarpur Corridor, this claim by Bansal has set tongues wagging on the potential opportunities of opening other historic places in Pakistan. Hello friends and welcome to Culture Shock with me Sunita Ayer and today let's take a look at the history of some of the places enlisted by Bansal which would have been a part of Indian soil if not for the 1947 partition. Let's start with the Jamrud Fort which is located at the entrance of the Khyber Pass from the Peshawar side in the tribal districts of KPK. In October 1836, Jamrud was lost by the Afghan Durrani Empire and conquered by the Sikh Empire. Sardar Hari Singh Nalwa, the well-known Sikh general, proposed to build a big fort at Jamrud. He laid the foundation on 18 December 1836 and the construction was completed in 54 days. It was at this fort that Hari Singh Nalwa breathed his last. Babu Gaju Mal Kapoor, a Hindu resident of Peshawar, commemorated his memory by building a memorial in the fort in 1892. Next, we move on to the tomb of Akali Pula Singh. A legendary Sikh hero who was a contemporary of Maharaja Ranjit Singh, Akali Pula Singh was an Akali Nihang Sikh leader. Under his leadership, the Sikh army crossed the Indus River with over 8,000 troops in 1823, where a pitched hand-to-hand -hand battle was fought between the belligerent forces. The powerful forces of Azim Khan Baraksai of Afghanistan were no match for the ferocious Nihangs. Azim Khan had been defeated and although the town of Naushera was firmly under the control of Ranjit Singh, he despaired the loss of Pula Singh in the fierce battle. Today, the crumbling tomb of Akali Pula Singh, which was raised by the Maharaja himself, unfortunately stands desolate and neglected. Next, let's take a look at the story behind the Bala Hisar Fort. The word Bala Hisar is from Dari Persian meaning elevated or high fort. The name was given by the Afghan Pashtun king Timur Shah Durrani who used the fort as the winter capital of the Durrani Empire. The fort was destroyed in a battle between the Sikhs and the Afghans but soon after the occupation of Peshawar by the Sikhs in 1834, Hari Singh Nalwa commenced the reconstruction of the fort and named it Sumer Garh. This fort covers an area of about 10 acres and the height of the fort is about 90 feet above ground level. The interesting fact is that the main entrance of the fort directly faces the ancient route to India. Lastly, let's take a look at the Shabkadar Fort. Made on the orders of the Sikh ruler Ranjit Singh for the protection of Peshawar against Muhammad Lashkar's attacks, the fort was located in Shabkadar, 25 kilometers north of the provincial capital. Made of mud and stone and designed by Sikh architect Totaram in 1837, it is currently under the Frontier Constabulary's use and about 1,800 personnel of the force are trained here. Even the great Winston Churchill stayed at this fort while he was in service and part of an expedition in the northwest frontier of India. Well friends, now don't you think that Pakistan should allow the Sikh community to visit these historical sites? Do share your thoughts with me. Till then, stay tuned to My Nation for more such videos.